In this video, I'll show you how to add your logo to your project or drawing in AutoCAD. My name is Jay and I'm the founder of JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials on YouTube and I focus on AutoCAD format. Let's dive in. So the command we use to insert a logo into our drawing is the attach command. To access the attach command, all we need to do is type attach. So I'm gonna type that on the keyboard, then I'm gonna click on return. And then it will ask us where do you want to place or where do you want to grab this file from? So what is the file or where's the location of the file you want to insert? I've already saved it here on my computer and then I'll select the file and then, then I'll click open. And once we do that, we will get this window that asks us a few questions. Uh, the two that I want to focus on is the insertion point and the scale. So right here, it's asking us if I want to specify where I want to place it if I want to place it based on specific coordinates or if I want to just basically click and point where I want to place it. And yes, I do want that. And then in terms of the scale, since I don't know how the size of this picture or this logo is going to be relative to my drawing, I will also leave this toggle on so that way I can uh, decide the size of the logo within. So I will leave this, I will leave this, and then I'm just going to click OK and I will leave rotation unchecked and we're not gonna cover the path type in this video. And we we'll click okay. So once we do that, AutoCAD will ask us where to place the logo. Uh, I'm gonna click somewhere here. Okay, so once you click, now it's asking you like how big do you want this to come up? So I'm just gonna do something visual for now and click and boom, now I have the logo inserted in my drawing. Now I'm doing this on the model space. Uh, but the place that I really like to place my logo is not really here where I'm doing the drawing in the model space. I like to do it on the paper space or on a layout where I have a title block. So what I will do is go to one of the layouts that I already did. And I'm going to go, I believe, to this one. And then from here, I already have a title block that I created previously. I'll leave you a link so you can watch how I created this specific one and go over it. But anyway, we're going to go inside this block and I'm going to use the block edit command for this. I'm going to hit return. And then from here, what I will do is basically I created a circle before just as a reference point of where I want to insert the logo. So I will delete this and then I will use the attach command again. And then now I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to leave everything and then I'm going to click here and maybe here and then I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to click X to leave the block editing mode. And now when I look at this, you can see that my logo is placed on the title block. And then if I copy this layout, I should have the logo already there if I make additional drawings. One more thing I want to cover in this video is if you're using the title block that I give you the download link for, you'll have to do it from the file directly. So for example, I'm going to open it here and it's this file. So here you would replace where it says your logo here. And then it's the same process, you would attach and then you would place your own logo over here and then the same process. And then once you're done with that, you need to save this uh, title block so that way the next time you use it in your project and insert it, it will come up with your logo. The last thing I want to cover in this video is basically telling you like a little warning just so you're aware. Um, you could have a problem with the logo if you change the file name or if you delete it or if you move it from where it is currently saved. So you want to make sure that wherever your logo is placed, you don't move it, you don't delete it or rename it. Otherwise, the link between the, the link that basically attached this drawing to your AutoCAD project is going to get lost. So just keep that in mind when using your logo or attaching any picture or other drawing in AutoCAD. I hope this video helped you today, and if it did, please hit the like and subscribe button. If not, please leave me your questions or comments in the comments so I can do better in the next video. Thank you for watching.